the format of being robot. It has been several days past since the events of the last two parts. I've been having nightmares last night about Arthur trying to kill me. I have also decided to move to Grandma's house because my old house is now ruined. I have hired construction workers to try to rebuild it. My console and TV were both shattered and I couldn't play video games after this point. I had so many bruises and I've got amputated and bandages areas all around my body. I'm unable to walk anymore. I can only drive on a wheelchair for the rest of my whole life. One night, my mom was writing an article on Wikipedia titled, 2021 Arthur Attack Incident. She wrote this. On the 15th of November 2021, in a neighborhood in northern Fort Wayne, Indiana, a rampage of Arthur characters occurred at approximately 1 p.m. in the morning. The Arthur characters were described as looking the same, except with red glowing eyes and sharp bloody teeth. 16 people were reported to have died as a result of the rampage, some by the attacking, and some at the hospital by hemorrhage. The incident was caused by them escaping from a TV, and then destroying a teenager's house in an attempt to kill him after abandoning them. When the Arthur characters were tracked down, they were thrown on a lake. The incident has caused statewide notoriety and has spawned the common phrase, Going Arthur, to describe evil characters escaping the TV. Similar incidents have happened in other cities for abandoning them. The incident has caused WGBH to end production for any future Arthur episodes in response to the incident. By now, Arthur is currently being pulled off from being aired at PBS Kids. It was then published to Wikipedia and then it was later edited by many other editors from Wikipedia. When seeing my damaged body, my parents were really shocked about what happened. In a news broadcast, the news reporter wanted to ask me for an interview on the incident. I had told the news reporter this. Okay, so it started with me waking up like every other day and then having breakfast and watching TV like always. I had watched The Simpsons and Family Guy because my favorite episodes were airing, and then all of a sudden, Arthur showed up. However, Arthur looked horrifying and had a demonic voice that didn't sound like the Arthur we come to know in the TV series. Every other character showed up, they jumped out of the TV and they almost killed me. They were trying to have me dead for literally abandoning them. I don't know why this happened. A police officer who was very intelligent came to me in the news report. The news reporter said to the police officer. Well that's a good question. The police officer will tell you the real reason behind the evil Arthur characters. The news reporter pointed his microphone at the police officer. He said. Well, it happened because the Arthur character must have been created by the TV itself. The TV made the evil Arthur a living breathing entity inside the realm of the television itself. Brain, Binky, Sue Ellen, Francine, Muffy, Buster, Brunella, George, D.W. and Baby Kate were also created as living entities by the TV itself. The TV is the direct source of the evil entities within. Then my mother came to me and said. Well, I had noticed in the news broadcast that D.W. was mistakenly labeled as George when there is already a George. I saw this error in the second part of the story. The news reporter said to my mother. Well, I apologize for that error. Thank you for letting me know. When I returned back home, my father said to me. That incident has made a cautionary tale in the realms of television and TV broadcasting. WGBH is very saddened about the incident, as they sent me an email about said incident. WGBH is currently suing LG for making the TV that caused the so-called incident. I then told my dad. Please keep me away from television. I'm too afraid of what happens when evil and demented characters escape. My parents have kept me off of television for good now. They were responsible for taking care of me from now on. WGBH made a policy saying that Any situation like that can happen to any TV, so you have to be very cautious of what shows you watch. The last thing you'd want is to have evil characters escaping the TV and attempting to kill you. LG has reacted, saying, We are closely monitoring every TV we have made so that something like that doesn't happen again. The President of the United States reacted, saying, 
We are so deeply saddened of the tragic incident that happened in Indiana that day. It will never be forgotten at all. All art for content has been removed from the PBS Kids website. All art for DVDs and VHSs are being recalled worldwide in response to this incident. The government of Indiana is now placing strict television restrictions in response to said incident. If anything like that happens again to you, please let me know. A similar incident happened in Texas earlier this year, when an evil SpongeBob, with black eyes and sharp teeth, came out of a TV of a certain teen, claiming that he abandoned him. The SpongeBob monster in response has been contained. Although, the monster came from a horrible episode that a psychopathic employee at Nickelodeon made. He publicly aired that episode to the point where Nickelodeon received complaints from angry parents saying their children were traumatized of this horrible episode that their disgruntled employee made so they had to fire him for good. I have mainly been focusing on playing games on my laptop as of this point. My friends are happy to hear that I was saved from dying by the characters that jumped out the TV. This incident has spawned a phrase called, Going Arthur, to describe characters jumping out of the TV into the real world. This incident has become a major cautionary tale for those who watch TV, thinking that characters might escape soon. If anything happens to you like that, let me know about it okay?